First of all, it uses all my tools. It, it engages me on all levels. So I'm, except for when I'm waiting for the shot to get lit or something like that, I'm hardly ever bored. That's number one. Number two, uh, as I said, I considered a lot of different uh, occupations when I was younger, including becoming a psychologist. But I never would have had the patience or the tolerance for that work. Whereas in directing, if you can get an actor to trust you and to step out on a ledge and do something that surprises them and surprises me, that is uh, the absolute ultimate form of therapy. It's that gratification is instantaneous. It's like you make a little suggestion and they do it. It's not like you have to make that suggestion and wait for three years while they process that and see if they can step outside themselves. It's like this instantaneous magic of getting that communication going. Um, and that's hard work. It's, it's, some people are totally open and receptive. Some people have, uh, are either naturally closed in or they've been hurt or damaged in some way so that they're not available to you unless you prove to them that you're worthy. Um, that is always part of the deal. Jumping into a new show with a new bunch of people is getting that information as fast as you possibly can and trying to make it work for you. I love also coming up with something that interests everybody, that makes the grips pay attention, that uh, they put their newspapers down or their iPhones down and they watch, or a situation where I'm trying to work something out and one of those ancillary crew members will come up and ask me if it's okay if they make a suggestion because they noticed something. Would I, what about this? The fact that I have engaged that collection of people and got them to dance down this road with me for however long I'm gonna be there, that to me is a satisfying experience. I go home feeling good if I feel like that has happened. It has, it is not always like that. Sometimes it is an absolute painful misery and I would do anything rather than be there. But more often than not, something magical happens. And, uh, and, and I've had something to do with it. I'm not necessarily responsible for it, but I, I put something in the mix that caused magic to happen. And uh, that's good, I really love that. I so, really love that. Sounds like a real high. It's a real high. I used to, oh, that's, that's funny that you say that. Um, because really, if you get that kind of magical communication going with an actor, it is really better than sex. It is the best thing ever. It's so exciting. And when I first started to do this work, I would come home with that excitement and I burst through the door and want to talk about it for hours and want to talk to my husband and my kids about it. <laughs> and I very quickly realized that they could, they don't, didn't want that from me. They wanted me to be their mother. It was okay if I was going to be gone, but they really didn't want to have to listen to all of this because somehow they felt less than and they felt competitive and, and it was terrible and I was disappointed and my feelings were hurt. And so I, and you know, you get into trouble if you try to make that magic continue with an actor. You don't wanna do that, that's a whole other thing. You really wanna have somebody who's as intimately involved as you are in the project and go to a bar and talk for two hours 
and then it would all be fine. So since you can't do that, if you have to be up at five o'clock in the morning and you have to be there at seven, you have to be ready to go, I, uh, particularly as time goes on, I can't go to a bar and drink for two hours. So I've had to learn how to let go of that high and that excitement in the drive home. And it seems really sad when I say that. It's kind of pathetic, but to make my whole life work, to make my marriage and family work, to make that work, that, that process of driving home is an essential part of it, is appreciating it, experiencing it, being excited by it, and letting it go. I don't even insist that my family look at my work anymore because it's ultimately disappointing. <laughs> so I just try to know that I've done the work, uh, had that been given the gift of having those great feelings, and uh, let it be.